Nice work. That's for you. Well done. You might want this. What's the latest? There has been a murder at the palace. I need you to be careful with this one. Anti-royalist pamphlets have been cropping up and tensions are high. The queen is very nervous about security. This way. Here we are. Good luck. Well now, I didn't ask about this.
Well now, I didn't ask about this. Please, leave the room for a moment. No one is permitted to see me open the safe. that someone was after the scepter i must see it i ordered the scepter with the dove to be brought from the tower for tonight's event oh, thank heavens it is untouched to find him here dead as you see him he gave his life to defend my person only i know the combination the vault contains the very precious scepter with the dove which i've chosen to be used in tonight's knighthood ceremony this evening i will knight several industrialists that have worked to end the practice of child labor all of london's luminaries are invited
I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Artie's been all in a state. Thinks there's some sort of master criminal on the loose. Then this morning, he's gone. Come to think of it, he had been going on about the Queen and all for the last day or two. Seemed to think she was in some sort of trouble. He said he was onto something. Said everything added in clues. You know, when he thought something was important, he'd write it up in invisible ink. Lemon juice like. I did see Artie's friend, Mr. Raymond. He'd just come from Perlock Publishing with his new Penny Dreadful. Seemed very excited about it. I never liked him much. He'd use smoke to read it. If you have a way to make smoke, you can see what it says. An explosion at Buckingham Palace. I must warn them. Jump! 
Easy now. <laughs> There's at least a hundred people here for the knighthood ceremony. The queen will use the scepter with the dove for the knighting. She'll arrive precisely at one o'clock. There may be an explosion! I demand to know what's going on. Whatever is happening. Everyone must leave! I've saved them. Nothing is happening. No explosion. What is this? I've been tricked. Raymond, why has he done this? You are more naive than you appear. Look beyond the obvious, beyond surface appearances. Nothing but a showman. So many people makes everything more dramatic. I found the same clues you found. I knew there was to be an explosion and I led you here to save everyone. I'm as mystified as you are that nothing happened. Seems to me you've created the perfect diversion, haven't you? You've helped me herd all those dreary people to certain death. We shall hear the explosion presently. Seems to me you've created the... Quite right.
I brought him his invitation to the knighthood ceremony. The one with the special scepter. Never trust a man who tells you what you want to hear. He is after something. While you were chasing all those people around, I absconded with the Queen. A hefty ransom is now due. While you were chasing all those people... A man like me can take anything he wants. Even the Queen's most beloved item of all her crown jewels. The priceless and symbolic scepter with the dove. I needed you to distract everyone so that I could quietly assassinate Her Majesty the Queen. Assassinate the Queen? Whatever for? No, it wasn't that. The scepter with the dove taken with your help. What could better display my genius? No one questions you when you wear a uniform. I suspect the solution will turn on geometry. I suspect the solution will turn... I am a fellow of many skills. Cracking a safe is but one. I simply watched the Queen open the safe when you arrived. I threatened the Queen with her very life. She told me the combination in a thrice. Spider Venom allowed me to fake my death. I had a perfect view from where I lay. I have stolen the Queen's most prized possession. The scepter with the dove. Think of it. I have outfoxed you. The most cunning detective in Britain. I mocked you by leaving clues for you at every turning point. Now I have the scepter. Proof positive of my superiority.
Evie, wake up! It's Raymond. He's taken Artie hostage. They're on the roof. Jacob's here to help you, Evie. Every life depends. Keep him busy, Evie. It won't be long now. I suppose this means our detective days are over. But what about you, Artie? I'm glad I survived Mr. Raymond's insanity, but sadly he won't be here anymore to write more books. A great loss, I'm sure. I'm quite serious, Miss Evie. Me and my friends waited every week to read the next number and find out what happened next. Why don't you write some yourself? A fellow would have to be very clever indeed. Sounds like you'd be in your element, my dear. The gruesome Whitechapel murders by Artie. I should think I would use my full name, by Artie Conan Doyle. I'd use Arthur. Sounds more of a serious fellow.